Anu Chicho, are you following what's happening in Afghanistan? Oh, indeed. Indeed, the Saigon moment is here. Right? The Saigon moment is here. That's going to be a cleansing going on there, man. That's going to be brutal and bloody. Right? And you have the Western powers to thank for that. The United States, Canada, UK, NATO nations. NATO nations, basically. Right? There's going to be a lot of innocent and some not so innocent afghanis that are going to pay a heavy price for collaborating with the enemy deep flake chicho what do you uh, make of james uh records i don't know who james records is deep flake who's james records i don't know him he doesn't ring a bell uh i'm bad with names though so bixi chicho have you talked about afghanistan yet well we just did yeah uh, if so, I will uh, rewatch the VOD uh, view, uh, video. If not, what's your stance? I feel this is more monumental fuck up than than the entire pandemic. Uh, no, I think the pandemic is really big. Everyone knew that this was going to happen. This will shape. I'm going to continue reading. I should read the whole thing before I start answering. This will shape the world for decades, in my opinion. It 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 already did. As soon as the United States went into Afghanistan, it reshaped the world everybody everybody that knew what afghanistan is and it's a country that's the empire killer everybody that knew what the hell was going on why they were going in there with pipelines and unical and turkmenistan and uh basically uh brzezinski uh, the great grand chassport whoever controls eurasia controls the world and all this so it is monumental indeed but everybody that knew about this that the build-up into the into 9/11 and invasion of Afghanistan was in the late 1990s. You had mass emails going around, people fighting. We have to free the women in Afghanistan. This this one didn't happen from 9/11. It was a build-up to invasion of Afghanistan. It was a centralized state pushing an agenda, uh, sort of brainwashing, programming, indoctrinating a society, a country to accept a war. People have to realize that this thing happening here didn't just happen it built up to that moment right and the build up to the invasion of afghanistan didn't happen after 9 11 it happened pre 9 11 okay it happened pre 9 11 the rockets that clinton said sent to sudan uh, i believe it was sudan sudan will destroy the pharmaceutical company holy shit right the the lives lost in africa because clinton sent a rocket and destroyed one of the only pharmaceutical companies in eastern africa that provided medication for uh livestock and i believe for humans as well right because it was a chemical site for terrorists but it was a pharmaceutical company it, like literally it's like it's like another country coming over to across across our waters and sending a rocket to blow up the moderna uh, factories right like it's insane and at the same time where they destroyed that the same day the same ship sent a rocket to afghanistan to try to assassinate osama bin laden and stuff like this is clinton build up to there and then at the same time emails were going around oh we have to free the woman in afghanistan we have to free the woman in afghanistan i got into a conversation with uh one of my friend's wives at the time right where she sent me this mass email oh sign this petition we have to go free the woman in afghanistan i wrote and she did a she did the cc she didn't do a bcc at the time she didn't what wasn't aware so everybody's email was in the list that she sent an email to <laughs> right so everyone i said oh, i will foul with this reply to all and i wrote a long piece saying what are you an idiot right this is a build-up to war they're going to go invade afghanistan if you really cared about women and she was in vancouver i said if you really cared about women okay you'd be working to help all the prostitutes in vancouver because vancouver is a pros in the late 1990s early, early 2000s stuff it it was like i'm not talking you had two blocks of prostitution and the drug abuse and homelessness and it was over the top i'm talking you had 20 block in either direction where there's prostitutes all over the place right it was over the top it was crazy 
right? You still have it. So I wrote a big email saying if you really cared about women, you'd help the women in your own city instead of trying to recruit people to go invade Afghanistan, right? So everybody, long story, long reply, everybody knew what the end game was going to be with the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan. It was going to be a Saigon moment. The question was how long it was going to take, right? We're there now. And U.S. is not just leaving Afghanistan. In large part, they're leaving the region. All they're going to do is go back to what they were doing before covert operations and uh, fun dissident groups and whatever. Whatever. It's game as usual, right? But why are they giving that up, right? They're giving that up because a lot of guns have been toured, torn, turned towards American citizens, right? Literally, take a look at Australia. There are troops in the cities making sure that people don't leave their homes where, where did these troops train to do this australia right oh yeah that's right news came out what year and a half ago two years ago whistleblower came out and said oh australian troops were basically snipering innocent farmers and stuff just killing them at random right just random killing oh new soldier came okay here we're going through we're driving through the mountain you know countryside oh there is there is a kid over there uh you know plowing the field with the family shoot him that's your that's your initiation into our whatever right this is a whistleblower this isn't me saying this it's not hearsay it literally happened from the top down it was coming down right people have to have a bigger picture of what the hell is going on right so why is the united states pulling out of afghanistan because they have to they got no choice they're overextended like most collapsing empires and that's why empires collapse they overextend themselves they need to let go of eurasia right who's filling the void man china russia iran india just became a lot more powerful right india not as much because they're still pretty tied into united states but china and russia just became huge powerful and so did iran right i can honestly tell you in 2001 one of the conversations i used to have with people that supported the invasion of afghanistan was this people say oh afghanistan we have to go in there get the taliban we're gonna win i go you guys are out of your mind i go even iranians know don't fuck with afghanis right I worked with an Afghani in the 1990s. I was doing pizza delivery driving. He Amazing people, amazing people. But don't fuck with Afghanis. What are you, out of your mind? <laughs> like, what, did, what did the West, what did NATO do? They went into Afghanistan and fucked with Afghanis. How are you going to win a war against Afga in Afghanistan against Afghanis? Occupy their land? Man, they're going to bleed you dry. Which is what happened with the report that came out and of all places one of the mainstream propagandists put this out i don't know why they did it it was insane but it came out that oh yeah every administration has known they're they're never going to win the afghan war they're going to lose and they spent six trillion dollars six trillion dollars in the last 20 years six trillion dollars in the last 20 years of taxpayer money to lose a war who benefited from this? Well, take a look at the stocks of some of the warmongering uh, companies and take a look at how much, uh, you know, simple. Here, I'll, I'll give you guys one bit of homework. Take a look at what the wealth of Obama was when he took office, how much was Obama worth when he took office, and how much he was worth when he left office, all right? In eight years, Obama was in office for eight years. Do you think he would have been able to even put the deposit down for a Martha Stewart vineyard, let alone buy the whole damn thing? Right? In eight years, take a look at where Obama's wealth went. Right? I'm just guessing. I haven't looked this up. <laughs> but i have looked in the past on other events look at how much he was worth before he took office and how much he was worth after maybe six months after and do this with all of your politicians you know once you do this you know which ones are the corrupt ones and you know how many guillotines you're going to need right 
I'm going to scroll down, gang. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity, something that humanity desperately needs. Right. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on SensorTube.